Oh, my mask is on the motherfucking floor. Ah, oh, God, I've had it up to air. And I'm just like, damn, like, God, what am I doing wrong? Okay guys, so it is it is 3:31. I literally just got done cleaning my room. Um I'm doing laundry right now, but I'm on my last load, so I'm having like an allergy attack. <coughs> I'm like deadly allergic to like dust and dust mites. So when I'm cleaning I literally have to like go outside to get some fresh air because I could not breathe for a second and I feel like shit. Uh, why do I look bald? Mm mm. Mm mm. Hold up. Uh uh. Let me at least got these two hairs out. I'm really hating these. And look at this braid right here. Like, look at my hair. I know you fucking lying, bitch. <laughs> It's literally out. It's literally out. I really don't know how I'm gonna wear this shit tomorrow to work. I'm probably just gonna wear it in a bun. So let me show you guys the finished product in my room though. So, everything's all clean over there. My desk is clean. I just have that purse on there. And that's my foot and that's my bed. And as you guys can see, the floor is empty now. All I have are my shoes there, my robes, everything's all wiped down. But I am going to take a hot ass shower now. Um, I'm going to try and fix this back here. I'm gonna have to look up a video on how to fix your what are these called? Passion twists? She did such a bad job. Like, 
oh my god who does this like who really does this i hate people this is not what i asked for anywho um i'm about to take a hot ass shower i feel like shit right now um the self-care sunday has turned into just like spring cleaning sunday at this point and i'm just tired i'm tired and i'm over it want to go to bed and it's already three o'clock like the whole day just went by like I, I can't anywho i will check back in with you guys in the morning no i'll check back in you guys with you guys later once i get out the shower so i can what did i plan on doing i don't know i'll figure it out oh that sunlight is hitting nice so it's a little later it's not too much later but it's a little later um i still sound like shit because i was sneezing for so long but i'm watching a video right now i'm about to show you i'm watching a video right now on um how to do <coughs> goddess on how to do passion twists because so many of them are coming unraveled it's like she didn't even take the time to make sure that they were at least secured like literally they're all unraveling like look at this like come on bro look at this like this is what you call half-ass work so i'm literally watching this girl um do and my lips have a mask on it so don't think i'm like over here with herpes or something i literally have a mask on my lips but um i'm watching this girl do her passion twist because i need to fix these like this looks absolutely crazy so she did the rubber band method and she crocheted them let's see what else she's doing hers are really neat though which i like mine are neat too but they're neat and shitty like the parting is neat i could at least say that like she definitely parted them neatly but girl come on like you literally did the, like you did this with your eyes closed and now i see why i only took her an hour to do my hair you're supposed to pretty much braid your hair braid all the way up to your hair and then once you get to your hair once you get past your hair you um we're just supposed to twist so this is my hair right here i can't see shit and oh i i don't even want to show you guys my finger but my whole nail is pretty much off on this hand from when i had nails previously and yeah like i'm walking around with mm, a missing finger pretty much just life is great it's really great like, I hope I'm even doing this right. Like, bro. I was gonna say something else, but I'm gonna clamp my tongue. I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> oh my god. I'm getting so irritated. So, hold on. She's... Maybe I should listen instead of having it muted. I'm super, super natural. And I am going to be braiding it about three passes at the top before I actually start twisting. You know what I should have done, too? I should have put... See, I'm dumb. I should have put Got To Be Spray right when I finished the braid where my hair was. So that my hair wouldn't unravel and come out again. But nope, too late. Oh my lord, I'm so scared because if it doesn't come out good, it's right in the front. Jesus. This is too much. Like, why can't people just do their job right? You had one job. Like, and now that I'm thinking about it, I don't even think she, like, fully finished each passion twist. I feel like she just started and didn't finish. Oh my god, I wish, I wish I could yelp her. Like, girl, you have me entirely fucked up. And I have myself entirely fucked up for even paying her. Fucking ridiculous. Just hope this twist looks okay once I let it go. Because there's no other option. Jesus. 
Okay, well, I tried. <sighs> like, literally, I need to go take a Zyrtec. I, I, I can't. I'll be back. Okay, guys, so I brought you guys downstairs with me. Oh, my God, this sunlight. So I brought you guys downstairs with me because I can't find the Zyrtec. And I ended up putting my hair up because I was just so frustrated. Like, these shits were just not coming out right. I tried. I tried, but um, I'm about to make myself some tea um, because I'm going to try and do the natural way instead of taking allergy medicine. So I'm going to make me some ginger tea. I use um, blue agave and lime in my tea to like put all that citrusy stuff into it get all them antioxidants boo so i'm about to make my tea and then we're about to chill out i tried the best i could with that little video i was watching to fix my braids up but this is how they're gonna have to look for now until i can figure out what i'm doing with my hair next because now this ain't it this ain't it So I made my tea guys and I'm eating a piece of cake with it on my real London shit right now. The blue agave makes this shit taste so much better. Try it. But drinking tea in the morning is really beneficial for your body. Make it a habit. If I can't, you can. Oh my God. This tea is hitting. I feel better already. But yeah, guys, I'm just gonna chill. I'm really not doing much today. I did cleaning most of the day. I finished all my laundry. But I had so much laundry and I washed all the clothes from my trip. So it was a pretty hefty day. Um, tomorrow's a new day for me. And I'm getting anxious. So hopefully everything goes good tomorrow. I'll probably bring you guys with me in the morning time, like as I'm getting there. But I'm definitely not bringing you guys in there with me on the first day. So I will check back in with you guys tomorrow morning because I'm not. Hey guys, so it's the next day. Um, it's the morning. And I am getting ready. Oh my god. I think my hair is too tight in the front because I have a pimple like right here. This hair is going up again. So anyway, let me just fill you guys in. So I've been up for a little while. I took a shower and I am doing my hair. It's hectic in my house right now because my little brothers are getting ready for school and the oldest younger one he likes to sleep in until like it's time for him to have to go so it's just it's just crazy right now and yeah I'm mad about this pimple on the side of my face and I know it's because these rubber bands are gripping the shit out of my hair I hope they don't look at me crazy with my hair like this because this shit looks bad yeah, I wonder if I should leave it down or if I should leave it in a bun. I think I'm gonna leave it in a bun because I look crazy. Never again. Never the fuck again. Okay. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to tie another rubber band. 
to make sure that this shit stays. Oh, no. I don't think so. I can feel how bad it looks in the back. Like, I think I need to fill in my brows because, like, I just feel so dusty right now. It makes no sense. Like, my skin isn't bad or nothing. I mean, besides this. But my skin isn't bad or nothing, but I just feel like... No. And literally, I had, like, ten dreams last night in a row of me waking up late. Like... <laughs> What are the coincidences of that? I feel like my face is getting chubbier again. Or maybe it's because I have my hair up like this. But my face looks so chubby to me. And it was not this chubby a couple weeks ago. But we fasted this week anyway, so it don't even matter. I think I'm going to leave the studs in. Because. I don't know. Let me see. I'm not going to put like a heavy perfume on. I'm just going to put some of my chance on because I don't want to be smelling too strong in there. It's a laboratory. Shouldn't even be smelling strong to begin with. So yeah, guys, I am going to get ready to get into the car. Um, I'll probably see you guys when I get to Starbucks if I have time to go there. If not, fuck it. It's whatever. Yeah, my face is looking super fat, like, mm-mm, no. Hey guys, so I just got here, I don't know like how my brows are looking right now, but I just got here, he told me to arrive by 8 o'clock at 7.40, so I'm like right in time. I'm going to tuck my shirt in, because I don't like how it's looking. Not okay guys so i'm back home first of all i'm feeling extremely defeated i don't know if i explained even what the job position was because when i filmed the vlog of me going to the interview i don't really think i told you guys what the job was so i'm gonna try and tell you a little bit of what the job is so pretty much Oh, I'm eating peel peels, by the way. This hot-ass sauce. So, anyways. Oh, my God. My forehead. Mm -mm. So, the job that I applied for was um, microbiology lab assistant. It's really fast-paced in there. I mean, luckily, I don't have to work on the weekends. But, like, I'm going to be stressed as fuck during the week. Like, I was already stressed just leaving there today. I don't really do shit, but watch the person that was training me. Like, this shit is just, I don't know. Something's out of here. I'm about to get my ass on OnlyFans. Because working ain't for me. Clocking into nobody's machine ain't for me. Like, none of that shit is not for me. My mouth is on fire, though. Woo! But yeah, guys, I don't know. I just... I really feel defeated today. Like, today just felt like a long-ass day. And the sun isn't going to let me be great. I keep moving my head. And it keeps... But, yeah. I'm just going to finish my food and cry a little bit. Because I feel like a mental breakdown is coming. But, yeah, I'm going to finish my food. And I'll check in with you guys later. Hey, you guys. So, I'm at a red light. So, I think... Let me just come back when I... Because <laughs> I just got so much to tell you. Let me come back when I get to my job. Okay, so I just got to work. It's Wednesday. Um, I didn't vlog yesterday because a whole lot of shit went down. Let me move you guys from here. So a whole lot of shit went down on Tuesday. Um, And then I think what you guys last seen was me at home on Monday when I came home. And I was like pretty like upset about like this new job and stuff so Tuesday I got into a car accident when I had left work and I was just so over it um literally I th like 
it's just been a bad start to a week it's just been really fucking bad and i'm just trying to hold it together because i'm like about to go through like a mental breakdown i think i said that on monday too my fucking eye hurts so bad like i don't know what's going on but this eye definitely looks like there's something wrong. I feel like I have an infection or something in my eye. I don't know. But this shit is just not okay. So, not to mention, on top of that, I've been, like, fighting with the security at this job because they haven't made my ID badge. So, pretty much, every time I need to get in anywhere, to go anywhere, I need somebody to open the door for me. I just have to wait there looking stupid like a bystander until somebody just magically walks past me so i've been dealing with that like all fucking week like i'm just so annoyed um mm -hmm. they better have my shit today though because this is the last day i'm giving them like i've been trying to keep it cordial you know collect but this is too much like i'm tired of it i have to go through literally six doors just to get to um the laboratory and I can't be sitting here having to ask somebody every single time, even to use the bathroom, you gotta get a swipe to go in. And I don't even got that. Like, I'm just so annoyed, guys. Like, I'm trying to like remain positive. I'm trying to not let this shit get to me, but I'm like, I'm frustrated as fuck. Like, this just has not been the start to a good week. And I'm just like, damn, like, god what am i doing wrong what the fuck is going on here and i've been getting tired of this bun so i'm just wearing it messy today because i'm like i'm ready to take this hair out i'm probably gonna take it out this weekend because i feel like my scalp is so tight with these rubber bands and i'm scared it's gonna pull out all the little edges i have left still so that's the tea for this morning um if i didn't take a morning good morning um but yeah it's wednesday so tomorrow i have to go bring my car to a collision center i'm probably gonna bring you guys with me today actually because i'm gonna go today and see if i can drop my car off today because my mom works so i have to see exactly when i can drop it off and then still be able to get a ride to go to work so it's just like a bunch of shit i'm just over it um but yesterday the only thing i could say about yesterday is the workflow went a little quicker i feel like it wasn't as busy we didn't get as many orders but i'm not even about to let myself get comfortable to that because she said yesterday was just a day that sometimes they have so yesterday we didn't get that many tests we got a lot of covid tests yesterday but that was about it um oh and another thing that pisses me off about this job is the fact that literally like we deal with like so many different specimens but one of the specimens that we always deal with like every day it's stool and if you don't know what stool is it's shit so like yesterday we got a container of shit from like a baby and that shit smells so bad and then on top of that to make it even better the shit was like coming out of the specimen container like it had spilled because the courier probably just dropped in the bucket and didn't give a fuck about it after and it was like leaking so it was just a bunch of fucking mess i just ugh, i can't i'm trying to take this week one step at a time i'm not gonna get myself worked up too quick right now i just need to pace myself out but i really like I went from like a party week to like this and it's like it's taking a toll okay it's taking a toll I'm gonna show you I'm gonna insert a picture of what my car looks like right now okay so that's what my car looks like it's not too bad but it's bad um so I have to get that fixed and uh yeah I'm just your girl stressed oh but I have still been continuing with intermediate fasting um I haven't weighed myself yet. I'm probably going to weigh myself on Sunday. Um, but, yeah, I'm... I'm going to get going. That's what I'm going to do. So, I'm going to get going. Um, I'm going to come back when it is... When I get off. Yeah, when I get off. And I didn't eat anything all this morning. So, my time frame between when I eat is going to be basically from 3.30 to 9. Yeah. 
because I'm giving myself 12 hours of like fasting. Oh, and not to mention, I'm running on like five hours of sleep. I honestly think though it's because of the fasting because I woke up at like one o'clock and I was up till like pretty much five o'clock. And um, I was up till pretty much five o'clock and the whole time I was thinking about food. Like, I could not stop thinking about food. I was going to tell myself to go downstairs, just have something to eat. But I'm like, no, no, boo, we, we holding off, we holding off. So, um, yeah, I just, I feel like that's the only thing that's been going on right now with this fasting is that I get hungry in the middle of the night and it's kind of fucking with my sleep now. So we're going to see how long this lasts. Maybe this is just like how it is in the beginning. But yeah, I could not sleep last night for shit. I went to bed super early though, but I think I went to bed mainly because I didn't want to get hungry. But I went to bed at like around 8, 9 o'clock and I woke up at one exactly one o'clock and i was up from one to like 5 20 and i slept for like 30 minutes and then i was up at six so yeah that's that's how it's been so far so let's hope this week gets better guys let's just hope pray for me God, i've had it up to air so yeah i'm about to go into work it's 7 17 so i'm about to go find a parking and i'll see you guys when i get off so i'm in the locker room guys I just thought I'd tell you, they got me my fucking badge. They knew what time was going on. Right, I'm about to change into my lab coat. Thought I'd come back and say hi before I'm gone for the entire day. Ow, my hair is so tight in the back. I'm ready to rip them all out. I hope the lab isn't too cold today. Like yesterday it was freezing and I think somebody went and complained and they ended up putting the heat on, but it'd be cold in here because bacteria grows in moisture so they got to keep it cold so that the bacteria doesn't grow and my anemic ass being there cold as hell why my forehead looks so big oh no mm -mm. so like there's been some other shit that that i also meant to talk to you guys about um so a guy i used to talk to like a while ago he had gotten into an accident and a, mo a bad motorcycle accident and like we never really like, like we were on bad terms before the accident and obviously like now we're not, but it's been like really complicated between us and I'm like literally just trying my best to be there for him. Like, because I know he's going through a lot right now. Oh, my mask is on the motherfucking floor. I want to be there for him and there's like certain shit that's like it's unacceptable like I really can't get into detail about it because I have to go to work but um I'll talk to you guys more about it when I get off actually so I'm at the car place to drop my car off because it needs to uh, get fixed. And yeah, so I'm about to get my car fixed and uh, well, I'm not about to get it fixed. I'm about to drop it off. Hopefully my mom's on the way because she's supposed to pick me up. I'm just so annoyed. I'm so irritated right now. Like I'm so irritated. The only good thing about today was work did go by quicker again today and she actually let me do a lot more i mean not too much but she let me actually participate more instead of just sitting there like a fucking robot um my lips are looking crackheadish and i think i left my goddamn yep i left my fucking car in my lab coat all right so my lips are gonna stay crusty but that's okay so yeah i'm about to have to drop a good thousand dollars today fabulous i'm just <sighs> guys this has just been a really critical week for me and i'm i'm so over it like i'm just over it um my braids are way too tight like not even my braids because these aren't even braids they're crochets but my the rubber bands on these shits like i'm gonna have to take my hair out this weekend 
because I feel like I'm losing all type of circulation to my fucking brain. So let me see what these people gotta say to me. And yeah, we'll go from there. Hey you guys, so hopefully you guys can hear me because I have my AirPods in. But we're back at it again. So I'm actually in the cafeteria at my job because um, I had to get a ride from my mother this morning and yeah, I'm early. I'm like an hour early. So I'm just in here, you know, looking dumb. But yeah, I was gonna sit here and I was gonna edit a thumbnail because, um, I'm gonna edit a thumbnail because, uh, well, because I need to post this video tonight. But I need to do my eyebrows because I look like I have none. So yeah, I'm about to do my eyebrows in the cafeteria because I am. The hell? Who's telling me what? I like that nobody's in here though. It feels awkward. I like this brow better than my other one. Definitely like it better. It just cooperates better with me. Definitely cooperates better. So this looks like I at least have a little bit of eyebrows. Okay. So that I have to do. And sorry I don't keep coming back after like half of the vlog because I'm just, I've had a crazy week. Okay. I have a phone case coming in though today from Amazon. Like, I love Amazon Prime for real because when they say that shit is next day shipping, like, it's next day shipping. Like, well, for certain things. Like, I wouldn't say everything is always like that, but for the most part, at least for like miscellaneous stuff, like phone cases, like, you know, certain shit that they know that they, certain shit can really get there in like the next day. My hair looks crazy. Like, I look like I have a pack of ramen noodles in my head. Literally. And I hope I brought that lip gloss with me. Because I'll be so mad. I'll be so mad. And I'm mad. Because I forgot that shit. Great. Whatever. Wasn't meant to be. Oh, wait, no. I left my Carmex in my lab coat. So, we Gucci. We Gucci, we Louie, we Prada. See, like, I wish I could wear it down like this. But as you guys can see... Ugh, I look like a bug without no lashes on. This is just embarrassing. But yeah, as you guys can see, my hair is out. And basically, this, like, this is not even, like, done, pretty much. Dude, I should really punch her. This is how you know life is coming to an end on your hair time this is literally how you know this bitch is holding on to its dear life so anyways guys this is the first week of starting this new job i don't love it but gotta pay the bills so yeah i'm just trying to get by because yeah i can't even answer that question for you guys to be honest like why am i working like why am i doing all this because i'm lazy with editing because i have consistency problems because i'm settling for less Ragged with bond. Girl, but yeah anywho Ragged i'm just with bond. girl 4608 so anyways, I am just chilling. I'm sitting here in the cafeteria. Now that I don't have a car, I feel like one of those kids who like takes the school bus every day to go to school and then you come home and you're just so exhausted. And yeah, and didn't you guys feel like that in high school? I feel like when I came home, the first thing I wanted to do was sleep. Cause that school bus, that ride home is is, is treacherous. Guys, I am hungry. I just want my lunch toasted before I gotta go to work. But the way my life is set up, probably not gonna happen. 
it's already 7.15, I gotta be to work at 7.30, so, yeah. I was surprised to see you the other day. It's so irritating. Why? 